Greetings, I'm Carl Sagan. I'm standing in for my good friend Howard, who is off this morning enjoying a cool milkshake. Today's question was sent in by Mr. Ruskin, who addressed it to me personally and wanted to know my thoughts on the recent scientific breakthrough wherein, for the very first time, we have managed to capture an image of a black hole. Earlier in the year, the world was rightfully astonished by this achievement, this monumental breakthrough that was the result of years of research, coordination, and organization. Multiple telescopes around the planet managed to turn the planet into a sort of virtual telescope, and by harnessing the power of these specific and connected telescopes, using monumental amounts of energy and data, they have given us a glimpse of a black hole. This was rightfully lauded, but there were a few who expressed a little disappointment. They found that the image provided for us was a little too blurry. Now, it would be easy to dismiss this criticism as uninformed, as ungrateful, but I think it speaks to something more, a disconnect between popular understanding of science and astronomy and the real hard nitty-gritty work that gets done. Partially what's to blame is how science has to sell itself to the public. For decades now, we have enjoyed these truly amazing images from Hubble and other telescopes painting the skies for us, letting us see the cosmos and all these wonderful colors and shapes. And of course, if one were to observe this with the naked eye, you would not see that. These are the results of photography, of, of color adjustments, creations of false and pseudo-colors, uh, Amping up the gains so that you can see the infrared or the ultraviolet or painting the gases a certain color to capture the eye to create contrast, it is not, for a given value, real. And yet, it speaks to the truth like all good art does. And it captures the imagination, it allows the public to join in the excitement even when they do not understand the corresponding numbers and data that sit at the heart of the science, what matters most, what we can learn about all this cosmic phenomenon. And so yes, people were disappointed, people found the image to be a little fuzzy, but truthfully, we should be grateful that we have had the opportunity to come together. This research was not to further any particular nation's goals or to, to increase military power. It was many of us coming together, wanting to learn a little more about the cosmos and our place in it. Personally, I think that's worth a little blur. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go join my friend Howard and have myself my own tasty beverage. I've been Carl Sagan. Be well.